Hey, Mike here. What did you use to annotate the web page? And of course, this person is talking about how I highlight everything like this. And not only am I highlighting specific portions of this article, I'm also putting up my little commentary on the side, as you can see here. But see, that's not even the beginning of it because also you have this very, very nice summary. It gives you a lot of metadata about the article itself. And then I also get it into my day's tech insights on my daily journal page. And it does not stop there. I also am able to click into and see my specific highlights for this piece of the article, as well as the entire article itself. And I can expand and see what kind of notes I took for these specific sections. And of course, if I do want to see the article itself in its original form, I can just click the source link and see the article with the specific specifically highlighted portions. No thank you for Wired. And I can also see the comment that I made. Now this video is not sponsored by Readwise. I just use them very, very often. And by often, I mean absolutely every single day. And you can get two months free, 60 days specifically, if you go to readwise.io slash system sculpt. And yeah, this is the page you are going to hit it has basically everything you need to know about the Readwise plugin. Remember, make sure to use this slash system sculpt thing because you will get double the usual trial. It'll be 60 days instead of just 30. And not only do you get access to the Readwise part of it, but you also get access to the Reader part of it. Reader is absolutely amazing as well. I mean, this is the read it later portion of their application. You're able to do things like watch YouTube videos and highlight specific portions of it from the transcript, connect your, you know, typical newsletters, Twitter threads. This is a big thing. I use this every single day. But anyway, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because it is a part of my Obsidian workflow. As you can see right here, I have the Readwise official plugin, and it's as easy as just initiating your sync once you have your account connected. And I have it set to once every hour. I just pop it into a default Readwise folder. And if you click customize here, you're hit with this Obsidian export page. And here you have all of these settings for each specific part of the content that you are saving. So you can edit things such as the page title that comes in, the metadata, the highlights header, the highlights themselves, the front matter, of course, this is a key part. I mean, I'm not going to get into too much detail here, but if you are interested and want me to do a deeper dive when it comes to the setup of how I do all of this, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to my patrons, and I will see you in the next video.